Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. So this is going to be, I think, I'm going to do two parts here. I'm going to do the unboxing for uh, Urban AC for next week's um, drop, and then I'm going to film the face cam one where I go through the drop, uh, the what's hot. So I'm probably going to add this at the beginning of that, and then bang, go to that, and you guys can watch it all in one video. That's my idea right now. Otherwise... I will do two separate videos, one unboxing and then one what's hot. We'll see. Um, but first, let's talk about what's coming in the drop from Urban EC. There's two items that I have already, and um, which is cool. So let's check them out. First one is the Jack Wolf Knives Feel Good Jack. So Urban EC is dropping their feel goods, uh, which is awesome. So if you missed out on a certain handle material, you now have another chance to uh, pick that up. This one is the White Storm. This one is the Lava Flow. And this one is the Limoncello. There's also a Dark Matter Blue. And there's also a Bazooka Pink uh, Camo Carbon. So these two are Fat Carbon. Dark Matter Blue is Fat Carbon. Limoncello and the Bazooka Pink are Camo Carbon. I happen to have three because I am an absolute maniac. Uh, ben sent me this one here for review, which was very kind of him. And I really like the White Storm. Uh, but I had to have the Lava Flow, so I bought that one. You'll see here I gave it a little love tap with my bit. <laughs> so I was trying to get the pivot dialed in um, because it felt a little tight when I got it. And I accidentally pushed the pivot too far through, and then I was trying to get it back, and I slipped. And it went through my cloth and scratched the shit out of it. But I do have it dead centered, and I have really good walk and talk. There's no play at all, and uh, it's breaking in really nicely. So I'm really happy with it, and now it's mine. You know, that's the kind of shit that doesn't bother me, really. Um, but I had to have the lava flow, so I got that one. Check out the red. Really interesting how the centers here are kind of black. It's really unique for Lava Flow for me. And then here's the Limoncello. This is the winner for me. So if you're sitting there going like, which one do I get, Kev? I want to get all of them. Like, that's what happens to me. Uh, in person, obviously, Lava Flow is a, pretty much a no-brainer. Like, it's hard to um, go wrong with Lava Flow because of the red. It's really nice. The White Storm really matches the grays in there really match with the aluminum oxide blast on the uh titanium so it's kind of a more subdued look but you still get that dope carbon fiber but this limoncello just i don't know man it just stands out to me it just goes really well with this design um and in particular this one that i have has an amazing walk and talk um the other two are really good but this one's like next level psycho good uh, i don't know if you can hear it when it's popping boom boom like it's not quite as crisp on these you know it's a little duller sounding again not bad but this one just jumps a little more and that just happens occasionally um, so you'll never see this yellow one leave my collection. You know, you might see me move these or give away or do whatever. Um, I don't know if that'll happen, but this one's not going anywhere. This is the feel-good jack for me. Uh, it's my boy blue or yellow. So anyway, the feel-good jacks are dropping at Urban EDC on Wednesday's drop. And uh, you can pick up any of the options you want. So check my links down below to the gear drop. The next one is going to be the Devo Nice Buzz, baby. We got some Devos over at Urban EC. They pre-ordered some buzzes. Um, now, this is my personal one. I have the knurled scales on it. And unfortunately, I sold all of them. So all the knurled scales are gone. Sorry. Uh, we only had 30. And they only work with the wire clip. Um, it was a, you know, just sort of a, a little project because they made a mistake. And they uh, made the scales before they got the lynch clip I sent them because they thought it was going to work. Then they realized it didn't. So they um, offered us the scales and they would mill them with something. So we went with knurling and just kind of did a small project of them. Um, but anyway, I want to show you what an unboxing would look like of the buzz. 
and then um, talk about it. So they have four versions, Urban EC. They have the Silver Fox. Um, they have the Tux. So the Silver Fox is a stonewashed blade with a stonewashed uh, handle and satin hardware. The Tux is a blackwashed handle, belt satin blade, and satin hardware. Then there's a blackout version, which is blackwash, blackwash, black hardware, and a reverse Tux, which is a blackwashed blade with a bead blasted handle and black uh, hardware. Um, and they all come like this. Urban EDC bought um, three of each version. So they only picked up 12. There's not a lot going to be dropped. Uh, but you can get either um, the just the knife like this, or they did buy four of them with the Zerkutai backspacer installed. So I installed the backspacers and then packed them back up and sent them. So this is what you'll get. You get a, as long as they keep it the same, I don't know, they could change it, but you should get the box and the COA, I would assume. It might not be in this. They might rewrap them. Um, so you get the COA, which is a coaster. So each specific knife has its own coaster, which is pretty cool, uh, I think. And so then you get this nice Devo box. That opens up, and you get this sick faux leather uh pouch with the uh, gold sort of zipper um you're gonna get the devo knives uh glow re patch this does glow all those colors glow which is pretty cool you get a devo buzz sticker and then you get our uh huge 12 by 12 uh microfiber which dude these are the best microfibers i suggest you use it but i know how it goes with packaging then you have the knife in a pouch like this you're gonna get your uh silica which i'm gonna chuck because i just kind of ripped it um actually i got some extras so i'll drop this one in you will get a full hardware set so this has a pivot that is not branded so if you wanted to not have the dk on there you could pop this one in you get an extra clip you get an extra bearings uh set of bearings extra set of washers uh, barrels, um, I don't think you get stop pin. That's the only things you don't get is the stop pin and the lanyard pin. But you get extra body screws, clip screws, pivot screws, all that. And most importantly, in my eyes, you get a steel lock bar insert with the detent ball in place. So if you ever had issues with your lockup or, you know, something, you could swap that out, which is, I think, super helpful. So you get that. And then you get the knife. This is the Silver Fox version. So you can see the smooth scales. Very, very nice. I really like the smooth scales. Centering is dead nuts. Got the nice wire clip. You can swap Lynch clips, Rips Garage Tech clips with these. Body screws. Here's the uh, DK on the pivot. And this has our Buzz style uh, top flipper. So you have a deployment hole for a reverse flick detent on this one is i would say on the higher end of medium closing in on on a little bit stronger good thumb flick on it you can get in there easy with your thumb the hole is nicely knocked down especially on the stone wash flicks really well you get nice lock bar access it's a little lower than some so you just get used to it, but you, you get right here. You got tons of room. It'll drop down flat on your nail if you are that kind of person, so it won't chip your nail or anything. It'll dig in, but it won't, you know, stab you. Very smooth on the clothes. And like I said, you have the uh, buzz cut top flipper. So you come up here, and you kind of Bic lighter flick it. You know how you would flick a Bic lighter? Um, like, zzz, zzz. You do that. Um, so you're not going to do a traditional sort of front flip. You can, but it'll tear you up pretty good. You just want to be on top and pull back like that. Um, you get used to it once you just figure it out. And then you also have ye old reach around move. So um, you just grip it and rip it and you get the reach around. So that is the Devo Knives Buzz. We're really excited about these. We have more coming. Uh, we just got, we got the first shipment and, um, it's 
just make sure it didn't ship it. Now nah, we're good. Um, we got the first shipment and we got all the pre-orders out. We got most of the dealer orders out, but we're waiting on the final shipment. And that one has our extras in it. So um, for now, this is going to be one of the only drops uh, of the buzz. So unless you want to wait a month or whatever till we get the extras and sell them, this is your shot. So I would get it at Urban EDC this Wednesday. Use my link. I would appreciate it. Um, I will happily double dip on this one. So um, go ahead and use that link and help me out and get yourself a Devo Knives Buzz. They're gonna be $330 retail. I don't know what they're gonna charge with the um, backspacer, so just keep an eye out for that. So that's the Buzz and the Jack Wolf. Let's check out the other stuff. I'm gonna unbox it with the uh, Pony Stout. This is another one of our knives. This one's available right now, White Mountain Knives at least at the time of filming this, in Black G10. So let's see what they hooked me up with this time. I always ask them to just send me stuff now so that um, it's kind of a surprise. So they sent me three things. Ooh, a Chavez pen or something? All right, let's get into it. Let's check out the Focus Works. So this is a guy out of uh, Canada, I think, Jordy. Um, cool dude, and uh, he makes cool stuff. He was actually across from us at Blade Show last year. Is this a yo-yo or something? Um, whoa. What is this thing? It's like a fidget. I had no idea this was coming. Cool. So it's just kind of a double disc, and it has a little concave there. So it... I don't know. Does it snap around in a circle? Is that... No. What is this called? Focus Works Drifter Brass. Man, I really don't like brass, but it uh, seems everything I get these days comes in brass. Just, you know, me. But So magnets, obviously. You can, uh, yeah, you can't rotate in a circle. So you're going up and down like this. And then you can go out and around. Just kind of a little fidgety, John. It's not doing anything crazy. Ah, I see. So you can kind of just go around like this. And you feel the magnetic pull when you do it. You hear it? It's kind of cool, actually. I think that noise is this little... No, I thought there was a little nipple in there, but there's not. So it's just gliding around on itself. Oh, that's really nice. It's, it's smoothing out as I do this. I don't know if this is steel or titanium, but wow, that feels cool. Yeah, that's unique and different. I'll be honest, I did not think I'd like this when I first kind of picked it up, but damn, that's nice. It's just got a really relaxing feel to it when you get a, start going around like that. Yeah, that's cool. You can kind of pop to each section. That's gnarly. And it's not too loud. So in the office or something, this could be good. I would love to try one of these in like t all tie or something lighter, not brass. But the weight is good because the magnets are really strong on this. So if you had just titanium and he left the magnets the same strength, it might feel a little um, too strong. Yeah, you can also kind of coin down like... Oh, that's nice. I think there's like one opposing magnet in there. Okay, that's really cool. That's the Drifter in brass, guys. Don't sleep on that one. I'm actually impressed with that one. This is the Raylight Pineapple Mini. Oh, Penlight, double A... Okay, I've had... Oh, shit, it's a big one. I was going to say, I've had one. Never mind. <laughs> um, I've had the full-size Raylight. So let me just see if there's a battery in here. Ah, these are my batteries. Oh, no, they're not. Never mind. I was going to say, it looks like an E-Fest. A little tab fell out. So 
So there you go. That's a long ass battery. I like that it's um, rechargeable like that. It's the one thing I wish my batteries were for my CWF. Using a a light or a battery charger sucks. Just wish it would, you know. So let's see what we got. One, two, three, four. Back to low. Two, three. Okay. So this is probably, let's see. Here's my CWF. That's on 15%. That's on 100. Let me just kind of hit the walls. Yeah, I'd say my CWF still seems brighter. Um, it's a little bit of a different uh, flood, though. And I don't know if a 10880 is much different, but this is getting really hot really fast. Um, that is the one unfortunate thing about a titanium flashlight, guys, is that it gets hot pretty quick. Uh, aluminum just makes it dissipates heat better. Um, there's a little glow ring, it seems like, around the uh, bezel here. So I bet you if I turn the lights off, that would glow now because you're naturally kind of hitting it as you, uh, let me see if we can get it to just show a little bit. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it there. So if I turn the light all the way off and you're kind of torching it, you're getting it heated up as you do this and then you turn it off and you can see it. That's pretty cool. I like that concept quite a bit actually. Uh, yeah, the Raylight Pineapple Mini is one of my most recommended flashlights. If you're looking for a flashlight that doesn't cost a fortune and um, does the job for everyday carry and you're a fan of the uh, CWF Micro Arcadian like me, but let's say you don't have $500 to spend or don't want to spend $450, $500 on a light like this, the Pineapple Mini in the regular size, which is about the same size as this, is fantastic and it's like 50 bucks in titanium um it is made in china um this is made in the u.s it's a custom flashlight but um for people who can't afford stuff like that it's one of the best options along with the um dapper designs ion which may be available at urban ec they had a drop recently um so uh, the ray lights and the ion are two of my most recommended flashlights when you're just looking for something to do the trick and you want titanium. Um, this is a little guy, USB-C charge, has a magnet on the back. It's really, really good. Uh, if they have it available, I'll try to link it, but you can always go to Urban EC it and search it. Um, but yeah, so this is the uh, Raylite Pineapple in a large size, um, double AAA they say. So I guess you could drop two AAAs in here. I'm not going to test it because I have uh, 10440s, not AAAs, but I'm guessing you could stack two AAAs together and it would work. Um, but this rechargeable thing is awesome. That's really cool that they put that in there. Um, so I don't know if this guy, let me just see. Was this guy in the front or the back? That's what she said. I'm guessing it's best to block this side, right? Because then... But it fell out right away, so I'm guessing it was in the front, actually. Just keeping it from connecting. Let's see. Yeah, perfect. All right. And uh, ray lights always come with extras. So you get an extra little ring for the back here i think for the clip and you get extra o-rings for the head which is really cool um, and it comes in this little case which is nice like so and it's titanium and it's like you know under 100 bucks i can't tell uh how much this costs yet but i'm guessing it's under 100 dollars. so um very very cool i think it does come in polished too so the next one is a pen from Chavez. Okay, so they do make a bold action, which is pretty cool. Um, this is gnarly right here. So this is a big boy. So it was a little loose. Let's just see what's in there. Holy shit. That was cool. Um, there is a whole sleeve. Are you kidding me? That's dope, dude. I don't know why that's so cool to me. Look at that. It's like, it's like a minigun. 
and out comes your Parker style. Awesome. I'm a Parker guy myself, so I would put a real Parker in there. I'm not going to for this, but... So it screws in down here. There's threads in there. Yeah, look at that. There's threads in there, and that's where it screws in instead of down here. Interesting. Dude, that's cool. So you don't have much of a seam up here, right? Then you have this bolt action. I assume this is made by Riot. Just guessing, but look at that. Bang, 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 bang. Uh, it's heavy. You know, it's got some weight to it for a uh, for a pen. Um, I actually just got a shipping scale. I could probably use it to tell you the weight if I wanted to. But I don't know much about pen weights and what's good and what's not. I just know this is heavier than, like... My Dragon Scale Titanium from Smooth Precision Pens, right? Here's a thickness comparison, too. One of the best pens in the world, the Smooth Precision Pens. Um, this is more like the Marksmith, you know what I mean? This is a Sharpie, and it's damn near the same thickness, not quite. Um, you do have the Skull Clip, which is awesome. Love to see the Skull Clip coming over here to... Um, the pen world the bolt action is interesting so right-handed it does make sense right-handed to come down this way i always wonder that with different mechanisms like this is right-handed but it goes this way it feels left-handed to me right where this goes down and this way and then you pop it back like that so left-handed it's not quite as eh, it works i don't know pens are weird for me I feel like they're all they can go either way that's what she said or they said <laughs> that's what they said um yeah it's nice it's unscrewing on me so this is loosening as i go so it's another one of those where you gotta like loctite it or really crank it down yeah there we go now it's not going anywhere you get really good tip exposure which is nice although i have noticed once you put a parker in like let's see let's see what it looks like see that see how much that sticks out and then i'll switch it to a parker very easy uh disassembly there i don't remember if i had this nope i don't think i loctited it or didn't think i loctited it so then here's a parker refill which is not gel ballpoint tighten that down and eh, it's about the same right nice i like that tip exposure uh, it feels really good in the hand. It's thick as hell, but, you know, sometimes that's good. Uh, one of the thicker pens that I like is the Nada Bolt. Ugh. The Nottingham Tactical Nada Bolt. Um, love this pen. And um, this one is thicker than that by quite a bit. This is like the size of a standard tactile turn pen thickness wise um which a lot of people think is too thick so they have a slim line um but i really like how this specific pen feels in the hand with that thickness but this just feels a little too thick for me but for some of you it's gonna be awesome right chavez you know his stuff is for you know everybody but um i think specifically he's a really big dude um and i think you know so this is kind of um for people with you know, huge, like kind of beefy hands, right? Um, yeah, I really like this. So these are available, I guess, on the drop. Let me put this away. Smooth Precision Pens is dropping a new really sick pattern on Friday. Stay tuned to my Instagram and YouTube on Wednesday when the drop happens. Uh, stay tuned to my Instagram for a look at a new design on the smooth precision pens it's gonna be sick guys uh, but anyway back to urban ec the chavez pen the drifter deal which is pretty cool to me and the ray light all awesome and then you're gonna have the devo knives buzz dropping as well as your jack wolf knives feel good jack so you got a lot of cool stuff dropping Link down below to the gear drop. I'm going to head over to where I show you what's coming on the uh, face cam style. So I'm going to switch over to that. Love you guys. And I will catch you later.
Hey guys, Kev here, and welcome to the What's Hot for May 17th, baby. So I recorded a little bit of a unboxing showing you some of the stuff they sent my way, which was very cool of them. So definitely check that out. That will probably preclude this, and then we'll roll into this guy. But I did want to reiterate the buzz is going to be one of the items available, the Devo Knives Buzz. Um, they do have a few of each one, and then they have, I think, one of each one with a Zerku type backspacer installed already. Uh, so definitely nab yourself one of those, as well as the Feel Good Jacks. I got one right here. Got mine in a brand spanking new Northwoods Leatherworks slip. Bada bing, bada boom. Absolutely love this model, guys. This one's a uh, no-brainer for me. So definitely pick up one of those. We'll hit these again real quick when we go to the site. But uh, let's, yeah, let's go do that. So the drop is 517, which is uh, tomorrow for me. Uh, 3 p.m. Eastern link is down below. So definitely use that link. It helps the channel out, guys. Appreciate that. So let's kick on over to what's in the drop so we have uh, another one of these Megalodon uh, bottle openers. This is the same one as last week. It's, well, it might be a different version. Uh, oh, yeah, Zirconium. It was Titanium last time. And that's the one with the uh, bit of a, uh, a nuck in the middle. It is a nuck. And apparently I was putting it on backwards. So if you saw the video last week, I did it backwards. Then you have the um, Chavez. 229 with the kickstop. This is the full Thai version. Uh, they did a Sagaha version, they did a G10 version, and they have this titanium version. They're dropping 410 bucks. Uh, it's your retail price on that guy. I showed you the uh, Raylight Pineapple uh, Mini pen light. It says mini, but uh, I don't think this is the mini. This is the full size, right? Yeah, it says Pineapple Mini triple a a double triple a so i don't know that's weird why are they calling it a mini it should just be the regular size but we went over that and it does come in a polish which is really nice i love a polish oh then we got the buzz baby that devo buzz what up so these are the versions you can get you can get the all stone wash you can get the reverse tux the tux and the blackout now keep in mind they only have three of each one i think and no two of each one stock and then one of each one with the zirku type backspacer so they might not last too long and it looks like early uh early access uh sold the tux and the silver fox so uh you're gonna be down to the blackout and the reverse tux those are the ones that tend to stick around and i don't you know the black wash is fucking gorgeous so i don't know uh, i guess people are sleeping on the black ones um, and it looks like there's still a Silver Fox, a Tux, and a Blackout with the Backspacer installed, which is $405 uh, with the Backspacer, though. Backspacer is $75, so they just added that on. It's $330 retail for the stock one. This is a um, you know titanium scales over a titanium liner with a steel insert, 20 CV, belt satin on this one here. Um, so it, you know, I think the price we have on it is actually reasonable. Um, uh, I think most companies would charge 350 at least for that. Um, uh, it is best tech made, which costs more, you know, but you get those details. So, uh, here's the Chavez pen. We, uh, we looked at one of those. This one's an exclusive here with the Sagaha on it. Uh, I don't think ours, the one we looked at here had that. But uh, this blue anno at the bottom, really cool. 150 bucks. I think it's Riot made. That's very nice. Here's that Focusworks Drifter. I was curious what the price was on this thing. It's this guy right here that we unboxed. And I really enjoyed it. I think it's a cool little fidget for work where you can just kind of, you know, dick around, essentially. It's not too clicky or anything. Comes in brass, copper, and stainless. Uh, and they're $89. I don't think that's too bad. It's uh, made in Canada by a dude. So um, I think the price is good on that. Here's the feel good, Jack. You're looking at 300 bones all around. 
Um, they are sold out of the lava flow already, but they have the limoncello. They have two of those. They have a white storm, two of those, uh, two dark matters, and two bazooka pinks. Uh, and it says two items left. Oh, is it two items? I don't know. That's weird. But it looks like the uh, lava flow is sold out. So um, that's the one I showed you here. Um, I have two other ones. I love this knife. So highly recommend it. Here is the uh, baby Nessie, they're calling it. And uh, I thought they sent me one to check out. And I'm just realizing that I didn't get one to check out. So maybe it's coming with the next package. Or maybe they just couldn't send me one. But I'm pretty sure... They said they sent me a Micarta one. This blue uh, Sagaha pattern one looks really cool. Um, you got to give them credit on that. I don't know if this is a pre-order. Um, let's see. It does, it's not saying anything about a pre-order. So these might be in stock. So maybe they just did a run of these. That's good to know. They're probably made by Riot. Um... Kukri style blade, titanium, built like a tank. Uh, oh, it still has the micarta back chaser. That's the one thing I didn't love about it. Uh, like its name says, blah, 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 blah. yeah, I don't see anything about a pre order. Do you? I'm just reading through here because I just assumed it would be a pre order. I guess they just ordered them. Interesting. Um, yeah. So it's supposed to be a slip joint roots, it says. Interesting. With an allure similar to that of our dear green friend Grogu, which I guess is a Star Wars reference, the baby Nessie is here to steal your heart and your pocket. An evolution of its larger predecessor, the baby Nessie, gets closer to its traditional slip joint roots. Okay. I had no clue. I don't know where the... Grogu thing comes from, but I'm not the writer, so there you go. They have a really cool uh, Osier custom, but it's gone. Damn, that thing uh, looks pretty sick. Not for me with the bolsters, but um, you know his blades look really nice. So uh, looks like that's the drop, and then of course you have the Yamamoto Club if you want to join. That's one way to get these early access. To get early access, either that or spend a boatload of money, um, which is how I got it. So. I'd say the star of the show is the uh, buzz up in here. Um, so if you guys are itching to drop some dollar, I say you drop it on a buzz uh, or a feel-good jack. I can't deny how good a feel-good jack is either. So I say you click my link and then you drop uh, $630. <laughs> Pick up a buzz and then nab yourself a feel good while you're at it. Um, yeah, this thing is sick too. So, and then you can hit up Troy. He's opening his books again very soon. So, you can get yourself a slick ass slip. Slick ass slip. Uh, the price on the baby Nessie is pretty good two fifty nine. dollars Yeah, that's not bad at all. Um, definitely helps when they are the dealer, you know. So that's how they can keep costs down on some models. So um, a good reason to get in on their exclusives. Uh, that blue is sexy, man. It's got to be like that blurple color. Oof, man, I am hoping I get to check one out because I'm not sure on it yet. I'm not usually a studs guy. And these studs look a little, you know, uh, flat. We'll see if they have any uh, jimping or anything. But a uh, cool logo there. I don't remember a logo on the uh, first version, but. Yeah, I think that's it, guys. I mean, that was a pretty quick one. Um, but we went through everything that they have listed on the drop. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll uh, splice this together with the unboxing. So it might be, you know, closer to 20 minutes, 25 minutes then. But uh, check the link down below. Thanks to Urban EDC for always being awesome and uh, sending me cool stuff. Check out. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.